So, uh, hello, I'm Ganassian. I'm the director of uh, Sleepless Night. And um, just to say a few words about the film, um, for me, it was important to uh, bring back some political questions in, in some um, short forms of expression, like film. And I'm very happy to show it in Berlin, so thank you. Hi, I'm Dorothy. I'm the producer of the film. Hi, welcome to the Teddy Award. My name is Jean Borbobak, and this time we are discussing the short film Sleepless Nights. Hi, welcome to the Teddy. Welcome to the Berlinale. Uh, we are very glad Hi. to have you here. Let's uh, talk about the film. Um, <clears throat> um, the film uses a very recent and very interesting um, moment um, in in. French politics as its backdrop. Can you tell us a bit um, what was your inspiration from from this to use it in the in the film? C'est parti d'une discussion avec des amis pendant le un peu avant les élections où j'expliquais que je voulais plus voter parce que j'en voyais pas l'utilité euh, euh, dans le système démocratique tel qu'il est aujourd'hui en France et en Europe. Euh, voilà. Et euh, on m'avait traité de, de fasciste en me disant que euh, c'était à cause des gens comme moi que euh, le Front National gagnait des voix. Vas-y. <laughs> so it started from uh, a dinners we had during curfews in uh, 2021 uh, with friends and. Uh, I expressed the idea that I didn't want to vote in the next elections for the presidential elections in France uh, of 2022. And uh, I was accused of being a fascist. And uh, so I, I wanted to to express what I felt at these dinners. And like I was very affected by it. And I, I thought that, uh, yeah, that I wanted to, to make a film about it. Et l'idée, c'était aussi de garder une trace de ce moment, qui ne soit pas une trace médiatique ou une trace euh, journalistique, mais de, de faire un, un film qui ressemble à la façon dont nous, on avait perçu cette période à Paris. And uh, I, I wanted to keep track of this event, not in a like, uh, journalistic way, or, uh, but a very like, documentary and a personal track also of uh, this moment, like to remember uh, like, for me, what it was uh, like to go through this moment. Yeah. And how did you approach it um, visually? I mean, it's, as I understand, it's a, it's coming from a very personal place, uh, the story. Um, what was your, how did you envision it to put it on the screen? Um, there is a word I didn't understand. Uh, what was your visual approach to to portray all of all of this in the film? Quand on approche visuel, quoi. Visuel, il entend référence ou visuel? You mean the 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 form of the film? Or yeah, the yeah, absolutely. Uh, there were two. Uh, well, il y avait deux. Il y avait deux um, deux lignes. Il y avait une ligne de récit de fiction qui était plus ou moins écrite et euh, qui allait s'adapter au résultat du premier tour. So there were uh, kind of two lines, two approaches. One was the story, like the fictional story that I wrote uh, with uh, Jonathan. Yeah. And uh, the other line was the like 
the events, uh, the political events and the documentary part. And yeah, the movie was about uh, like uh, co coordinating like these two these two lines during the shooting. If the results have been different, uh, the the day of the first round, the movie had uh, already different. Would have been different. Would have been different. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Um, it was very interesting to see that the main character in the film, um, taking into account this whole backdrop of, of politics that's going down and all the other characters that she is moving around, like she's really passive compared to everyone else. She's very silent. She never engages in these, um, in these discussions. Um, can you tell us a bit about the headspace of this character and and what she is going through. Je pense qu'il y a deux elle a deux problèmes principaux. Le premier c'est que euh, elle arrive plus à savoir comment se situer dans le monde et à savoir comment agir et comment garder espoir vis-à-vis euh, -vis de ce qui se passe. Et j'ai l'impression que c'est un peu symptomatique euh, d'une partie de notre génération. Uh, plutôt proche des 20 ans que des 20 ans. Uh, so there are two issues for her, I think. Uh, the first one is how to behave in our world, uh, like how to react to the events that we are going through. And uh, it's kind of shared, I think, with a lot of people from our generation that are approaching 30 years old. Et le deuxième aspect, c'est le rapport à la drogue. Et um, la prise de drogue, c'est quelque chose qui peut... Um, à terme, vous couper du monde et faire que vous n'avez plus de, de contact avec la réalité et que vous vous construisez un monde dans lequel vous traversez mais où vous n'êtes pas présent. Quoi. And the second, yeah, the second issue she has of, and what explains also why, why she's passive is that uh, because of, of her drug use and uh, like the, uh, yeah, the cons uh, consuming drugs. Uh, makes you kind of live in a different world and uh, uh, a world that is also uh, where, where you're also lonely and uh, I think that yeah what is the, what's uh, at stakes with her also yeah one of the pillars of the film is uh, is the main character's relationship um, with Marie and and with um, and with an other guy um can you tell us about how she relates to these two people and how that connects to all of this intense political moment in which the film takes place c'est quoi sa relation avec marie avec nance et comment ça interagit aussi avec le contexte politique du film. Mm -hmm. bah, par rapport à Marie, le, je pense que l'amour, comme euh, c'est une relation, je pense qu'elle assume pas, euh, qu'elle n'arrive pas à construire. Et je, je pense que que ce soit dans l'amour ou dans la politique, il faut du courage, quoi. Ben, uh, with Marie, is a, it's a relationship that she doesn't really. Uh, uh, Assume of, uh, <laughs> that well, she, she doesn't know really how to construct this relationship, mm. and uh, she's a bit lost. And uh, for uh, uh, building a relationship, it needs courage, and uh, I think for uh, uh, committing yourself in politics also. <laughs> so yeah, that would be a kind of link between the two. Mm. Et je pense aussi qu'elle a un objet de de désir et qu'elle aime aussi avoir. Uh, plusieurs relations en même temps et c'est des questions qui nous traversent beaucoup euh, depuis un certain temps euh, de pas forcément répondre à un modèle de couple mais euh, euh, être plus libre quoi entre guillemets parce que mm. and also she's uh, really free and uh, she likes to have several uh, relationships and lovers and she yeah it's kind of something where also like uh, it's uh, like the the way of making, uh, like, uh, being in a couple is also uh, something that is uh, um, questionable today uh, in our world. And, uh, yeah, I think that's what she's mm. experiencing as well. Yeah. Um, the film ends with with a very 
emotional voice message um, that the main character is leaving um, to Marie on the phone. Um, can you tell us a bit about about that moment? Uh, there are very interesting things that that uh, she is saying, um, such as I don't know how people manage to live. Um, Again, I think it resonates a lot with what you've already said, but uh, if you could just elaborate a bit on this uh, conclusion of the film. Bah, c'est le seul moment où elle prend vraiment la parole, et, euh, et c'est le moment où elle essaie de mettre. Déjà, c'est un moment où elle parle, mais personne ne l'écoute puisque c'est un monologue, quoi. So it's kind of the only moment when she expresses herself mm. in the film, yeah. but it's also the only moment where she she's talking to no one because no one is really hearing her on, yeah. on the phone, and so she's like talking to herself as well, I think. Et c'est le moment où elle prend conscience de choses qu'elle n'arrive pas à dire, et c'est aussi parce qu'elle vit ce moment politique qui arrive donc le soir des élections du second tour qu'il y a tout qui monte en elle et où ça lui permet peut-être de lâcher euh, de lâcher mm. quoi. Yeah, it's the first time that she understands what is going on for her and it's revealed with the political moment which is the second uh, round of the elections and yeah that makes everything comes up and uh, uh, she, that that's why she she expresses that at this moment. Mm. Yeah, wonderful, great. Thank you so much for being here with us. Um, and thank you for um, talking so openly about the film. Um, yeah, I wish you all the best for the Berlinale. Um, yeah, enjoy your time in Berlin. Thank you. <laughs>